when I joined the academy, like the first ever call I ever made, I got a listening appointment set that same day. We're getting an agreement signed today. It's going active next week. I swear to God, academy fucking work. I didn't know I needed a conversion rate. I didn't know I was following up on people wrong. I'm missing out on so many people just because I'm playing the safe route. This is an interview with a brand new agent named Cody. In one week, Cody racked up three listings and $60,000 worth of commission for himself. The year prior to that, he was in his first year struggling to do two deals, one of them being his family member. Cody goes over some great learning lessons from this video. So if you're struggling to take consistent listings, I hope you learn something from this. So let's rewind back in time. How long have you been doing real estate for? Last month was now going on my first year of being a realtor. I swear to God, I wasn't getting, I wasn't getting nothing, no deals, no nothing. It took me four months to close my first deal and that first deal was a lot. I've been trying to search ways of how to lead you and I used to like, door knock start doing social media it kind of worked a little bit it gets me ahead of people but i wasn't getting any clients from it i used to just mail expired leads and obviously i wouldn't get no response from them so i was just looking for alternate ways of how can i uh you know attack this expired listing market so i'm literally doom scrolling through instagram and then i come across your video i'm like okay take my list of agreements screw i'm like let me see what this guy got to offer man what i gotta lose mm -hmm. <laughs> no idea I seen the script and I took it and I started practicing it. I'm like, this makes so much sense. Why am I not doing this? And then um, I think like a week later, I took that leap to uh, join the Academy. Mm, okay. And I, I, I swear to God, the Academy fucking worked. <laughs> I, swear to God, I didn't know I needed a conversion rate. I didn't know I was following up on people wrong. I'm over here telling people, hey, how you doing? Not versus, hey, I got something to show you. Let me set a listing appointment with you or a buyer appointment. I'm missing out on so many people just because I'm playing the safe route and not actually going for it in an appointment. And that's what the Conversion Academy really teaches you. And um, after learning all that, uh, first cold call, like, I'm being so transparent. I was so scared to cold call. I'm being so real. And then, like you said, Aaron, like I was really overthinking it, really. And then after I made that first cold call, first listing appointment, and then took my first ever listing appointment, I got nervous from that too. It took me like another week of just straight cold calling, just getting out there. And I think it was this week, literally this week, is when I said, I said, F it, I'm going full forward. I don't care what nobody think, nobody's thinks or no, whatever. Nobody says, um, I'm going to cold call. If somebody hangs up or cuts me out, who cares? So I went all in. And then by the end of this week, I found three, three, three listings. What I'm is, about to go act. What are the, um, what's the percentages you're taking on those? 3%. All of them? Mm -hmm. And what's, let's say everything closes out. Uh, how how much in oh, commission is like every so, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So if, if if I if I close this one investment property, I'm about to have an agreement signed. Uh, this one house that I'm about to have this two hundred thousand dollar house, I'm about to uh, have it signed today. If I follow up on this seven hundred thousand dollar listing that I'm about to take, if I can get him signed, plus all the other things that the other guy want at the Hurricane Lake and all that stuff, mm -hmm. dude, I'm coming out with like fifty. $50,000, $60,000. Bro, what are you going to do with that money? Fuck, I'm going to join the accelerator program. <laughs> so first year, you're trying to social media, open house. You're like dabbling here and there with door knocking and like, you know there's expireds out there. You said you were doing mailers? Yeah, I literally were like mail expire listings and I'm over here thinking, okay, if I can mail them this perfect letter, they'll, they'll call me. No answer. <laughs> what was the biggest takeaway and learning lesson that you've had um, from being in this environment? I used to think that people were like, this is probably like out of the ordinary, but I used to think that people were like only succeed in real estate if you buy leads instead of like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then like, like I said, I was completely new to cold calling and I never thought like, okay, you need, a, you needed a script, you needed all this stuff, you need a conversion rate. Um, I didn't know you needed all that. I thought cold calling was just a, hey, you want to buy or sell? You don't? Okay. You do, but not right now. Okay, just call me back. No. And like, and like I said, the academy really shows you that conversion rate of you need to set the appointment or, you know, you're really training these people of not to pick up your call. So, and 
I called even previous clients to try to set appointments uh, with me, which I did. Now they're answering my calls again. They used to never answer the call. Mm, what and do you like, think changed? Because like, I'm starting putting more value into my calls. Like this one script that you told me was, you're looking to buy a home in the future. Is that still the corner? And they told me their plan. And then I would like dig into their motivation uh, and their problem and motivation. Oh, I don't got good credit. Hey, I know a guy that can help you with your credit. Mm-hmm. And be like, I'm like, okay, if you almost got, you know, good credit to go buy a home, let's set an appointment. Let's go over your options and, you know, let's go over this and that. And that's what setting me those appointments. Mm, what were you doing before if, if someone said, like, I, I don't got the credit for it? Usually, I would be like, just let me know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So you were you were the uh, dude. That's so classic. That's the average agent thing yeah. of like calling and hey, how you doing, man? It's that it's that check in. Exactly. It's the ch- hey, just checking in. You still you, you you still want to do that, right? Oh, in six months. All right, I'll, I'll call you back. No, that's all right, dude. For a twenty year old, like bro, I wish I figured this out at twenty. You're a he- you're ahead of the game right now. You're learning to produce by yourself you don't rely on facebook youtube instagram you don't you don't rely on that you can now no one can take this away from you you know like some people rely on zillow leads realtor.com leads if zillow's down realtor.com's down if the buyer market's down they're fucked and they still have to go figure it out you, you can't like this is a skill that all you need to do dude is if like if the phone lines are down you can still create leads i want to know this what was the goal last year like when you, you know, when you're, when you're a brand new agent, you're wide eyed and you're like, oh, I'm going to get rich. And then you set this goal for yourself and then reality hits. And that first year doesn't look so great for most people. What is, what did that look like for you? When I got my license, this is what I expected. I thought I was going to get listings. I thought I was going to get rich. Like listings about to be handed to, to me as soon as I post this Instagram story saying, hey, I'm a realtor. Here's my contact information. Uh-huh. And come to find out, reality hits me. I didn't get not a single paycheck uh-huh. for four months. And I'm not going to lie. Literally, those four months, I really was contemplating as, is this really for me? Like, I worked so hard to get my license. And where's the money? Like, what? My, my first deal was like, I made $300. My first deal. No! I mean, I, I, was, I was genuinely happy. Like, because this is my first sale. How many transactions did you do your first year? To be honest with you, man, I only did two deals. That lot. And I sold uh, my other cousin her first home. Mm -hmm. So if we're putting that together, I only made $4,000. Dang, bro. An entire year. Well, that's great, man. I'm glad you hopped in because two deals your first year and then you are now getting several under contract. And is this your first month in the academy? About to be, yeah. First month, and I'm getting all these people. Uh, something I never thought I would, I would do. I never thought about cold calling. I never thought I'd do it. I was always nervous to like. I always thought you had to be that perfectionist. I always thought deals would come to you. No, you have to go get the deal. Dude, that puts you ahead of your competition so far because most agents are like checking in, waiting for deals to come in, po- posting on social media, hoping that deals come to them, dude. You're a hunter now, Cody. You know how to hunt. <laughs> For real. It's really exciting, too. I'm still kind of nervous calling people, not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, like you said, it's a numbers game. I was literally about to, like, give up on the phone. Like, okay, I'm about to call one person. And that last person ended up being a listing for me. So. Cement that in yeah. your head. Just keep that in mind. If you're going to give up, like, keep on going. Aside from the results, how's the, how's the presentation going? I know the end goal is to get them to sign. Don't leave until you get them to sign. And I need to work on emotionally selling because I'm I'm still on a really logical side. Hey, yes, uh, you need to sell this house for that much. But my only thing that I need to do is really dive into their motivation and problem and really get them emotional in their motivation to get them to sign the same day. Like, Granted, I'm still like going to these appointments and I may not get them to sign same day, but they're willing to come back. But my my overall goal is to get them to sign right there. No yeah. question that. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm really working on. Dude, right if now. they're willing to come back, 
there's a high likelihood that you could have gotten them to close there. What was the, what was your goal last year? My goal last year was a very unrealistic standard. Like I have a, um, I have a calendar of my like yearly goals. And my, one of my goals was like make a hundred thousand dollars, close 50 deals. Yeah, yeah. How can I have done that? And I, I if I didn't know how to lead you, lead you properly. But like that's that's like that's the classic new agent though. You don't exactly. know going in. I want to make a hundred thousand dollars as soon as I get my license, and I don't know how. Do you understand you're gonna make over that this year? Exactly. You if you if you close out what you just brought in, like you're already halfway there, and this is your first month. Yeah, and on top of that, uh, another I have another uh, like two more clients who are investors and looking to buy another house. So that's add that that's it up too. <laughs> What's what's the goal? What's the goal for uh, 2025? 100,000. Bro, you're, 100, you're going to hit that quick. 100,000. You're going to hit that. But each year I just want each year I just want to go up 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 until I have enough to like I said go back and invest into real estate. That way I don't have to keep cold calling for the rest of my life. I actually want to own doors yeah. and generate passive income. I don't want to do this the rest of my life Bro, neither do i of course who wants to pull call for the rest of their life but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> dude a lot's changing for you man and it's because you're willing to get uncomfortable yeah bro that's awesome man that's awesome i, I always preached on my story hey get comfortable being uncomfortable and i never did until now so mm. Mm. it was being real <laughs> that's good that's good stuff where can people find you cody you guys can find me on my instagram cody c-o-d-y uh zz underscore and my youtube cody garrett moving to arkansas Sweet. uh if you guys looking to relocate to arkansas when you got instagram facebook and all the same and so, one uh, piece of advice just do it like I'm, I'm as generic as it sounds just do it like like bro let me tell you how like nervous i was i was so nervous two weeks ago at least three weeks ago uh when i joined and uh i think like right after i got got off the call with you with you i was in a call with you and Abs and um i was like okay get your repetitions in and then so um i went to go cold call and i'm sitting there like literally i'm looking at expires and i'm looking at my phone like literally looking at the uh this and i have a number and i'm looking at it. i'm shaking like i'm so scared like what if they what if they hang up on me if i pussied out <laughs> you know what i did i went i went to the gym to vent to myself so I was literally uh, lifting in the gym, and I was telling myself, "Oh, you're, you're scary. You're, you're a pussy. You're, you're a b-word. Like, you know, like just pushing myself." And I'm literally listening on YouTube to like how to get over the fear of cold calling. I, I swear to God, mm. <laughs> that's what I was doing. And then eventually, I just said, "F it," and started doing it. Again. Now I'm loving. It. So as generic as that sounds. It, it's, it's Bro, you're so real. You're a good, <laughs> you're a good storyteller like, like, I'm, too. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep it real every time. Be transparent. I'm not this. I'm not this type of guy that's like, oh, you need to do this or you need. You no, know, I was, I was confident from the start. No, I'm. All right. Uh, one last thing. If someone's thinking about uh, coaching with me, what would you tell them? I tell them it's worth it. Like, like I said in the conversion academy, man. Especially me. I'm gonna be super honest. This is coming from a guy that don't purchase courses. Like, I used to think, like, these courses were, like, scams and all that stuff until I really took the risk of, like, seeing what Aaron has to offer. I'm like, hey, let me just see. And then I study everything that's your course. Try it out. I'm scaling my business, man. Like, this, this is real. Like, like, I would say, man, you, you are somebody to work with. And I can't wait to close so many deals to get into Accelerator program. I can't wait to see uh, how much you got to offer, man. I'm already <laughs> excited for it, man. That's awesome, dude. So, Hey, thanks wait. for doing this, Cody. I appreciate it, man. Yes, sir, man.